Good afternoon. The government will announce a pricing system for petroleum products today. Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs Minister Dato Sri Saifuddin Nasution Ismail said the decision on a pricing system was made by the cabinet at a weekly meeting chaired by Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahade Mohamed. Saifuddin explained that in less than 24 hours, the Ministry of Finance will finalize the prices and will inform KPD and HEP before it is announced to the public. Speaking to reporters in Kuala Lumpur, Saifuddin said the weekly float system of fuel prices, which was scheduled to take effect on January 1st, had to be delayed to study the views of gas station operators on a new pricing system. The upcoming state cabinet meeting will discuss enforcing a smoking ban at all food premises, which has been implemented in Peninsular Malaysia. The Sarawak government has shown support for the anti-smoking move, but is of the opinion that education should be included to encourage smokers to quit. Sources say that in Sarawak, only Kuching North City Commission, DBKU, had banned smoking at coffee shops in its jurisdiction over a year ago. While the Sarawak cabinet meets on the third week of this month, the Sarawak Health Department will also meet stakeholders such as coffee shop operators on January 9th to discuss the smoking ban. The Public Works Department, JKR, and Laboraya Borneo Utara Sandian Bahat, LBU, are currently repairing damaged stretches of the Pan Borneo Highway and installing more traffic signage. Tamin Assemblyman Christopher Gira Sambang said he had been informed by both JKR and LBU on these measures. Gira said that he was contacted by LBU CEO Safwani Abdul Hamid, who said that LBU was working closely with work package contractors to ensure road damages are immediately repaired. Safwini further said that the rainy season had worsened the damage in certain stretches, but assured the repair works would be carried out. That's all the news for now. I am Razi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.